Hi, this is Tim Yorder with Fit Small Business. I've been a CPA for 28 years. In the last four years, I've spent at Fit Small Business evaluating accounting software. So today I'm going to help you pick the correct QuickBooks online for your business. Give me 10 minutes and I can almost guarantee you'll know exactly which version to use. So let's start with the most basic version, which is QuickBooks Solopreneur. So this is a new offering from QuickBooks Online. It replaces their old QuickBooks Self-Employed, uh, but it is, it is a significant upgrade from Self-Employed in a couple of key areas. Uh, so the price is $20 a month. That gives you one user. Plus, you can invite your accountant as a user so they can see your books, make changes, prepare your tax returns. Uh, very nice for them to be able to get directly into your books. So who is Solopreneur right for? This is for self-employed individuals that file a Schedule C that don't need any advanced features. Um, it is not appropriate if you're an S-corporation or a corporation or a partnership. Uh, all of those, you're going to need an upgraded version, and we'll talk about why in a second. So the strengths of Solopreneur, really good at tracking your income and expenses. So you basically connect your bank account and your credit card account if you want. Those will flow in to your software. You'll be able to categorize them. Very simple to track income and expenses. Even when you have personal and business funds in the same account, um, you can track your mileage uh, that you drive uh, using their app. And finally, their estimates and invoicing. And this is where Solopreneur has really made a big advancement over their old self-employed product. Um, there, you can create estimates. Once they're accepted, automatically turn them into invoicing. The invoicing function is very, very solid in Solopreneur. It was not in self-employed. So uh, you can issue invoices, um, collect the payment. As you collect payment, they'll automatically be recorded uh, as income. About the only thing the invoicing function lacks is a really good customization to make your invoices look really distinct and beautiful. Uh, you can upload your logo, you can change the colors, uh, you can choose which fields you want to show up on the invoice form, but you can't really customize it and make it look fantastic like you can in the other QuickBooks Online version. So again, the, the invoicing, extremely functional, really good. This whole program is extremely simple to use because it's so stripped down compared to your QuickBooks Online versions. There's only four or five things you can really do in the program. Um, which makes it extremely easy to use. Um, I opened it up for the first time and I was pretty familiar with it in about 10 minutes. Very simple. Love it. Um, one thing to note though is that it is so stripped down from your other QuickBooks Online versions that it's very hard to convert from Solopreneur up to one of the other versions of QuickBooks Online. Once you get up to the next version, which is Simple Start, it's been, then very easy to go up and down um, from the other versions. But QuickBooks Solopreneur is kind of its own thing. And so any conversion to QuickBooks Online to the other programs is probably going to have to be manual. Um, so keep that in mind. If you're planning on scaling up, you may want to start with QuickBooks Online Simple Start. Okay, so if we look at this bulleted list of what it's missing, these are things that most business owners are going to want, or at least this is a list you need to familiarize, you familiarize yourself with. Decide which of these features are important to you and that's what we're going to focus on today to decide where you need to upgrade to. So this is Solopreneur, great for tracking income and expenses, sending invoices, receiving payments for Schedule C businesses. Let's move on to the next product which is QuickBooks Online Simple Start. This is $30 a month, still you only get one user plus you can invite two accountant users. The biggest upgrade with from to simple start is that you can now integrate payroll which is really important because if you're a corporation either a c corporation or an s corporation you have to have payroll if you provide services personally to the corporation you're not allowed to just classify everything as a distribution you have to pay yourself a salary which requires payroll quickbooks solopreneur has no way to integrate a payroll solution with that software quickbooks online simple start you can integrate QuickBooks Payroll. You can also integrate uh, Gusto. There's lots of payroll providers out there that will integrate with QuickBooks Online Simple Start. So that's the number one reason people uh, upgrade from Solopreneur to Simple Start is that they need integrated payroll. Um, another reason is that this Simple Start is a true double entry bookkeeping system, which means not only does it track income and loss, it also tracks your assets, liabilities, and capital accounts and will produce a balance sheet. 
Um, and so that's extremely important for partnerships. So partnerships, you may not need to have payroll, but you absolutely need to track each partner's capital account. Um, so you need to have a balance sheet. You need to have a double entry system. So you need to have simple start. Solopreneur is not going to be sufficient for a partnership. There are still a few things there you can see that are missing from Simple Start. Um, inventory, bill tracking, time tracking, um, etc. So let's talk about the next step up and what you get with QuickBooks Online Essentials. This price has jumped from $30 to $60, but you can now have three users. The main reason people upgrade from Simple Start to Essentials is that you can track your unpaid bills. So with Solopreneur and a simple start, all you can do is as expenses come through from your bank account, you can classify them. It doesn't really give you any help in tracking your unpaid bills. With QuickBooks Online Essentials, you enter bills as you receive them, put in the due date, do the due date, and then you can pay them at a later time. And so you can print a whole list of your unpaid bills, decide what gets paid, pay them directly within QuickBooks. You can even send the payment from within QuickBooks. So if you want help tracking your unpaid bills, then that's a good reason to uh, upgrade to Essentials. The other big thing Essentials does is you can track your time and expenses and bill those to clients. So you can't do that with Simple Start. So if your business revolves around billing clients, then you absolutely need Essentials. With Essentials, you can enter your time, enter your employee's time, assign it to a customer, even to well, assign it to a customer. Um, and then when you pull up an invoice for that customer to create a new invoice, it'll have all the time available with one click. You can add all of that time to your invoice, bill your client. So that's another major reason to upgrade to Essentials is to get the time tracking um, and the ability to bill your clients. So the next level up, this is their most popular program. This is QuickBooks Online Plus. This has five users, which is generally plenty for most small businesses, um, five uh, people in your accounting department, so maybe the owner is going to want access to QuickBooks and then four accountants. That's an awfully big accounting department, really, for most small businesses. So five users is generally sufficient. One of the main reasons you're going to upgrade to Plus is if you have inventory. So inventory accounting with good software like QuickBooks Online Plus, it's easy. Without it, it's going to be a nightmare. You're going to be required to have spreadsheets. Um, it's not going to be worth the money that you save. But essentially with QuickBooks Online Plus, every time you buy inventory, you specify exactly what the inventory is and the quantity purchased and the price paid. That allows QuickBooks Online to track the uh, cost per unit so that when you sell a unit, it knows what is the cost of those goods sold and what is the cost of the inventory that remains in our uh, ending inventory on our balance sheet and that is an incredibly complicated process that you'll need to track in a spreadsheet if you don't have good software like this so if you have inventory 100 percent you need quickbooks online plus neither of the lower versions uh, other advantages to quickbooks online plus you can track by location and class so if you have multiple locations uh, multiple classes of products that's very helpful also you can track uh, profit and loss by project. Um, so if you uh, have multiple projects per customer, that's very helpful so that you have a little more breakdown than just the customer. So again, this is the most popular plan. If you have inventory, that's the main thing. If you have inventory, you need to have QuickBooks Online Plus. Okay, and then their final version, and this is a big step up. This is QuickBooks Online Advanced. This is designed more for your larger the larger end of your small businesses, maybe even getting into some medium-sized businesses. Uh, price is $200 a month. So again, that's a big step up from $90 a month, but you get 25 users. That's a big accounting department, 25 users. Um, so most people that upgrade to advanced, they do so because they need more than five users. I mean, that's the honest truth because Plus can pretty much do everything you need that you absolutely need. But when you need more than five users, you have to upgrade to QuickBooks Online Advanced. But once you do that, you're going to find there are all sorts of wonderful features with QuickBooks Online Advanced that you didn't necessarily even know you're going to need. One of those is that you have a dedicated contact person for customer support. So no longer do you call, get in the queue and hope you get a good a support person, you're going to have a dedicated person. They're going to know your company. You can call them. You can talk to them, that particular person, when you have a problem. That is a huge advantage. That alone might be worth the extra $110 a month. Um, 
Other things you can do, uh, QuickBooks Online Advanced has fixed asset management, so you can enter your fixed assets as you purchase them during the year. It'll calculate depreciation. If you sell them, it'll calculate the gain or loss. Um, that's something that none of the uh, uh, lower level versions touch. And uh, your inventory cost, so Plus only uses the first in, first out inventory uh, method. This gives you a second method of average cost, so you can choose between those two. So that's, again, that's QuickBooks Online Plus. Usually most people uh, upgrade to it for the extra users, but once you get it, you're gonna love a lot of the bells and whistles uh, that go along with it. So the bottom line is, once you understand your business and once you know what your business needs, it's generally pretty obvious uh, which QuickBooks Online product you need. Um, my advice is to get the product that you need. Don't try to save a little bit of money by getting a lower level product and then having to track something with spreadsheets, right? Let's make this software as useful as possible. Save your time. You have more important things to do uh, than mess with the bookkeeping, uh, mess with spreadsheets that then have to be tied to your bookkeeping. Get the version that's right for your business and save yourself a lot of time. Okay, so below this YouTube video, I'm going to provide you a couple links. One will be to a QuickBooks online comparison article that we have on Fit Small Business that'll go in far more depth than this video did. And I'm also going to provide you a link to click to QuickBooks online um, that will allow you to get 50% off uh, for three months um, when you subscribe. So look for those two links uh, in the description below this uh, YouTube video. My name is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. I hope this was useful to you, and I look forward to seeing you in one of our QuickBooks Online tutorials.